Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. Arsenal 3, Man United 2. What a devastating, devastating way of losing a game. I mean, I've never felt this kind of sinking. I mean, it's just incredible how we lost that game. At least, I mean, we should have drawn that game, in my opinion. We should have drawn that game. I know Arsenal created more chance than us. Of course, they are playing at home, but... In terms of 90 minutes, I think if you look at 90 minutes, we defended really, really well. And I don't think we deserve to lose that game. But we lost it in the end. We lost it in the end. The referee as well. I mean, the referee was shocking as well. I'm going to talk about the referee, those two penalty decisions that he decided not to, not to give. I think if it was at all Trafford, he would have given one of them at least. But he decided not to give those that is just incredible, incredible game. Incredible game. I'm devastated. I'm really, really devastated how how we ended up losing that game. And I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what it looks like now. The table, the table is gonna it looks like this at this moment in time. United will stay fourth. Uh, where is that? So we're staying fourth with 39 points. Um after playing 20 games, Newcastle and United are now on the same exact point. Man City, they they just created that six-point gap on us because they just won today. Arsenal extended their lead now to 11. So with a game in hand, with a game in hand, 11 points behind. So forget about title race. Forget about title race. I mean, we've, we were never in that title race conversation. But fans believe that because we won nine games in a row that we could actually just compete to win the league. I don't think this team is good enough to compete to win the league. Uh, the striker position, where do I start? That striker position, awful, awful, awful. Um, let me just quickly show you the stats. I mean, the stat says that ball possession wise, they, they've had more goal attempts. They've had more shots on goal. It's pretty much the same. I thought it was an even game. I thought it was an even game. Uh, I thought we could at least we could at least get a draw in this match, but it wasn't to be. It wasn't to be. They scored in the 90th minute. Um, uh, Rashford got on the score sheet in the first half. What an unbelievable, unbelievable goal by Rashford! I'm gonna run down through these um, players' rating. Uh, we could quickly cover all the players here. Uh, and see if you agree or disagree. By the way, if you disagree with any of this, just please let me know uh, down in the comment section. Uh, we start off with David De Gea. I think David De Gea was uh, okay. I mean, some people are complaining that he should have saved Saka's goal. His positioning was incorrect. But he did save a massive, massive uh, shot from Enketia. I mean, incredible save. He saved a certain goal in this match. Six Six out of ten, I think I would have to agree. Six out of ten is probably right. Probably right. Um, Wambasaka, he was assured defensively, but again, Wambasaka cost us on that second goal, I believe. The first goal, that first goal, um, uh, and Ketia scored. That was all Wambasaka's fault. Wambasaka is consistently not defending his back post, and he cost us in that goal. Six out of ten, probably the correct uh, rating. Shaw, Shaw was solid as well, defensively, but offensively he was useless because he had to defend. He has to consistently defend Saka, so he wasn't he wasn't useful. Uh, uh, in the middle, okay, so center back Martinez, Martinez and Varane, both. I think they had a good game today. They contained Arsenal for much of the game, and Martinez actually scored uh, from a set piece. I thought Martinez probably mattered a match. I would have to agree with that. He was he was really good defensively and offensively. He gave us a goal that we needed at that moment in time to tie the game 2-2. Uh, but disappointing that it wasn't good enough uh, to get something out of this match. Uh, McTominay and Eriksen, seven each. Seven each is a bit high for them. I think both don't deserve a seven. I think McTominay did a, an okay job. But we needed an extra midfielder. If you haven't seen the preview, I've done the preview specifically on this, saying that McTominay cannot 
cannot control the game with by himself. He can't. And that was the answer today. That was the answer today because he needed help defensively. Partey and Xhaka and Odegaard just completely annihilated him in the middle of the park. Um, Eriksen, he hasn't created anything in, in the game. I don't remember him creating any chance uh, in this game. An average game from Eriksen. I thought um, Anthony had a very bad game. Anthony, I think six out of six out of ten is 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 even high rating for him because he doesn't deserve six. Anthony was just useless in this game. I mean, a lot of times he could have went past players and he just goes back. I mean, I don't understand why he does that consistently. When he's one on one with the goalkeeper, I take him. I mean, with the player, just take him on. When a when a defender commits, just take him on. Why is he? Why are you consistently going back? And he had two three chances in this match that could have been a, a better opportunity if he if he didn't uh, waste them. He miscontrolled a lot of shots, uh, a lot of balls as well in this match, and correctly was taken off. Um, Bruno Fernandez, okay, Bruno Fernandez, ineffective, I think. He had one shot, probably on goal, but all in all, I think he was ineffective. Seven out of ten, he does not deserve a seven. I think he he did an average game. Bruno Fernandez, he, he did play the ball inside to Marcus Rashford for that goal, for the opening goal. But other than that, I mean, did he manage the game uh, properly? Attacking contribution was so little, but defensively, probably he helped out the team a lot. Uh, Marcus Rashford, of course, he done uh, he danced his way past uh, Thomas Partey. People talking about Thomas Partey is better than Casemiro. Ask yourself that question again. Marcus Rashford put Thomas Partey on the floor. He drove the ball and dips the ball. Uh, the uh, you know the Cristiano cut inside. That's what he did, and then. He, what a shot and what a goal he deserves. He deserves uh, at least to get a point just for that goal, in my opinion. It was a wonderful goal by Marcus Rashford. All in all, I think Rashford was uh, was good. Uh, he was denied a second goal in the second half by Ramsdale. Weghorst, so this guy, this guy, probably the worst player on the pitch. Weghorst. I, I really, really don't understand how, how Eric Ten Hag kept Weghorst in this lineup for 90 minutes. I just don't understand how he did that. I mean, this guy was struggling the whole first half. He wasn't he wasn't in the game as well. Cause somebody explained to me what Weghorst offers to United. What does he offer to us instead of just pressing? I mean he's not good at controlling the ball. He's not good at scoring. He's not good at making runs in behind. He's not good at linking up play. He's not good at at uh, creating chances. I don't know why on earth we left this guy to play a whole 90 minutes. It's just incredible. When the game was 2-2, I was saying, Garnacho, please, Ten Hag, put Garnacho in and put Rashford on, uh, in the uh, striker position so we can create something. But he decided to stick by him. He decided to stick by him and he paid for it. I think I'm definitely going to blame this game on Eric Ten Hag. I think this team was was good enough to, to, to get a draw, but the substitution, the decision-making by the manager, I completely disagree with. Fred coming on for Anthony, that wasn't what we should have done. If you want to protect the lead, take out the striker, take out Wickhorst, and put 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 Bruno on the, on the right or on the left, and put Rashford as a center forward, and you can have three middle to match with Partey, Xhaka, and Odegaard, but he didn't do that. A lot of things that Ten Hag has done in this game, I um, I completely disagree with. I completely disagree with. This is all he does. He was just jumping, jumping, jumping. Nothing. I mean, Weghorst played like a horse today. I'm not going to lie. And I'm just going to say it how I see it. And this guy has been useless against Crystal Palace as well. I don't want to go on him, but it is what it is. At Crystal Palace, he was useless. He was useless in that game. And he repeated the same thing today. I thought he wouldn't start. I thought Martial would start. But if Martial is injured, then you go with someone else. You got Garnacho. I mean, why don't you start him? 
on the left and put Rashford as a striker. I really, really don't understand. Like you, you sell or you get rid of Cristiano, the guy that scores over 20 goals, and you replace him with a Burnley lone striker, Weghorst, the guy that scored two goals for Burnley, and somehow he's going to come here and create magic for this team. It's just not possible. And that decision making was just incredible to see. Or did we just buy him? Did Eric Ten Hag bought Weghorst because he's Dutch? Is that the reason why? Because I can't explain it. I, I really didn't see what this guy offers us. Really, I'm not lying. Like, I don't know what he offered in this game. It's so, so frustrating to see us lose this match. And I'm going to blame Eric Ten Hag for this game. And I'm definitely going to blame Weghorst for this game. Ten Hag should have had three midfielders for this game. He didn't. I think that cost us the game. And also, Weghorst staying 90 minutes is just incredible. But that is it, guys. This has been my match reaction. But we move on. We move on. We're still in the top four. We shouldn't be uh, confident. We should still stay confident. It, it should remain the same. I don't think we should sink down just because we lost. I know it hurts, but we got to stay strong. Got to focus on finishing top four. I think we could still finish in the top four. But this guy, Weghorst, he needs, he needs replacing immediately. I don't think he's the answer. And hopefully we can have Martial back for our next game. But that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match. And let me know if you disagree with any of the, uh, the ratings we did for all the players. If you disagree with any of them, please do let me know in the comment section. But that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace. Incredible. How did we lose this game? How?